case 19. And this is a perianal polyp. I'll, I'll give you some history here. So just an inflamed skin tag or something else? Anatomic site in mind at low power. We have this uh, exophytic uh, nodule that's characterized by this dermal process of um, pretty darkly staining granulomas. Um, differential is, is pretty broad when we go in deeper, though. However, we see these giant cells that seem to contain these inclusions um, that may be composed of protein and calcium. Uh, given the site and given the histology, and I think this would be good for cutaneous Crohn's disease. Right. So basically, this is these are these granulomas in the dermis. If you see granulomas in the dermis in the anogenital skin, always think about the possibility of cutaneous involvement by Crohn's disease. All right. So sometimes it can be in like a perianal polyp, like in a skin tag. Uh, sometimes it can, it can be next to a fistula site, you know, because patients with Crohn's sometimes get fistulas. Um, but I think it's always important to keep in mind. I see a lot of skin tags and a lot of inflamed skin tags. I do not usually see granulomas in skin tags. So if you if you see granulomas in this setting, um, always think about that. Uh, of course, also there there's other possibilities that people have like a, a perianal fissure or something, and some fecal material gets gets into that. Sometimes, uh, you know, plant material can get caught up in the in the ulcerated site and then you can get granulomas from that. So there are other reasons you can have granulomas. But to me, anytime I see uh, granulomas uh, of, of kind of any pattern in the anogenital skin and I don't have a good explanation for it, I want to at least raise the possibility so that they can work the patient up if they have any uh, signs or symptoms clinically concerning for Crohn's disease. All right. So this is, uh, and sometimes people in the past have called this like metastatic Crohn's disease, which I think is a terrible, confusing name. So I highly recommend against using that. I just call this cutaneous involvement by Crohn's disease. Very good.